Registered Phenomena Code 176 Object Class Beta Red Hazard Types Visual Hazard Contact Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-176 is to be contained in a Faraday cage, 100 meters underground in Site-098. A grounded metal screen surrounding a piece of equipment to exclude electrostatic and electromagnetic influences. RPC-176 is to be led into its containment chamber through a silicon carbide superstructure, measuring 10 meters by 10 meters by 5 meters on the surface of RPC-176's containment chamber. Should the superstructure or the Faraday cage be damaged, all Site-098 personnel are to be relocated to another available site until the structures are repaired. Due to the risk of a containment breach, only a set amount of electronic devices are permitted for use during active hours. Known devices with the capability of transmitting RPC-176 signals, smartphones, laptops, PCs, electronic watches, and strangely, compasses. See Testing Log 176-3 description RPC-176 is a radio wave believed to be transmitted from an unidentified object in the Kuiper Belt currently known as RPC-176-3. The size and location of RPC-176-3 are unknown. The game of Pong that transmit through devices when RPC-176 comes in contact with them is capable of expelling a spear with the circumference of that of a softball. The object, known as RPC-176-1, appears to be the object seen in Pong bouncing back and forth between the two rectangles. RPC-176-1 is capable of propelling itself out of a device transmitting RPC-176 at seemingly random intervals. The object is capable of traveling at speeds of 2500 km per hour and will vaporize all objects, organic or inorganic it comes into contact with. The object then vanishes after approximately 25 seconds. Despite not having a designated target. RPC-176-1 has demonstrated its lethality in urban and crowded areas, piercing through multiple targets, vaporizing their insides instantly upon contact. RPC-176-1 has demonstrated the ability to evaporate any liquid it comes into contact with, creating the subsequent gaseous form of whatever liquid it came into contact with. The only exception appears to be human and certain types of animal blood which is vaporized along with the subject. It is unknown why this happens, however, it is speculated that it involves the iron content in the blood of humans and some animals. Because of RPC-176-1's ability to pierce through all physical matter, all tests are to be conducted in a rural area away from any urban or suburban areas. Test Logs Testing Log 176-1 Date February 1, 2023 Objective To see how RPC-176-1 kills and why it happens. Setup: CSD-4789 is put inside an isolated room in a rural area in New Mexico with RPC-176. CSD-4789 is told to stare at RPC-176 for one minute. After approximately 34.455 seconds, RPC-176-1 shoots out of the TV transmitting RPC-176 at speeds of 109 km per hour. Testing Log 176-2A Date May 25, 2023 Objective Test RPC-176-1's abilities on a non-human organism. Setup. A healthy jade plant succulent is placed 3 meters from a TV transmitting RPC-176 for 25.567 seconds before RPC-176-1 shoots out at 99 km per hour and vaporizes the jade plant. Result. The succulent was vaporized instantly upon contact with RPC-176-1. Testing Log 176-2B Date. May 30, 2023 Objective. Test RPC-176-1's capabilities on a sentient non-human organism. 
setup. A healthy mouse was forced to stare at a TV transmitting RPC-176 for 88.975 seconds before being removed from the test chamber. Result. See Incident Log 176-1 Testing Log 176-3 Date Not recorded Setup A compass was placed inside the Faraday cage, transmitting RPC-176 and observed. Result. The compass began to spin wildly and melted the clear plastic cover before emitting millions of small white particles in random directions. These particles were white-hot and traveled at a speed of 2,997,890.66 km per hour. For another ten months, these particles began to cool down, before fizzling out. Note from Dr. B it's a shame we couldn't isolate these things. However, it seems that RPC-176 has the capability of releasing a magnetic field capable of being picked up by compasses. Further and more secure testing is required. Incident Logs Incident Log 176-1 After the mouse was removed from the test chamber in Testing Log 176-2b, a new entity shot out of RPC-176. Called RPC-176-2, this entity shot straight through the concrete wall of the test chamber, leaving a small 5cm by 5cm triangular hole, and sped off into an unknown location. RPC-176-2 was a triangular-shaped entity that shot out of a TV, transmitting RPC-176 and testing log 176-2B. This entity was observed to be capable of shooting through solid concrete and traveling 52,678 km per hour. RPC-176-2 has never been replicated, and it is unknown if it still exists. It is unknown where RPC-176-2 went, or if it has fizzled out. Attempts to replicate this phenomenon have failed. Incident Log 176-2 On a full moon on January 30, 2024, RPC-176 was detected outside of its containment chamber and was transmitted across all of Site-098. Protocol 176-POM was enacted. But by the time the power was shut off, 80% of Site-098 was killed by RPC-176-1. It is unknown why this happened, and on the next full moon on March 2, 2024, RPC-176 remained contained as normal. Further attempts to simulate a full moon have yielded no results. It is believed that a cosmic anomaly happened where RPC-176 originates although this is unconfirmed. Addenda Addendum 176-1 Although RPC-176-1 killing methods aren't fully understood, an examination of subjects killed by RPC-176-1 shows that RPC-176-1 is able to drive energy through the nervous system and cause instant cardiac arrest in the subject, resulting in expiration.